So I was using my uh, McGregor 26M for three years and I kept hearing about this quick engine disconnect. And um, I didn't think I needed it. I heard good things about it, but I thought, well, I, I could do, go without that until I actually installed it. Wow, what a difference. So here's a quick video on how I installed it, but also what is it really used for? So like most things uh, that I get from Blue Water Yacht, uh, the kit came really complete with good instruction and it was quite easy to install. First thing first, uh, of course, you have to disconnect the uh, current uh, kit, the current system that you have for steering uh, the motor. And uh, some of it has to be done from uh, below, but it's quite simple, a few nuts and bolts and, uh, and you're done. And uh, disconnect from the engine, of course, uh, that whole system. And then uh, you remove that little uh, nut that I have no idea what it's for. We all have that nut uh, right there. Anyway, you remove that and you use the same hole. You make it a bit larger to uh, install the new bracket that comes with the kit. So now that this is installed and that bracket is installed and this new uh, nipple is installed, it's pretty simple. You just hook that on. And hook it on the engine. On the, the rudder in here, and when you're ready to uh, lift the motor, tilt the motor, just hook it here. Let's see how that works. So I thought I was done because uh, now that it's disconnected, if I turn right it's fine if i turn left it kind of catches on this here but i'm thinking i should have put that uh, nipple on the engine facing down so i'll try that i think that's what it needed so on the engine with that uh, attachment the nipple facing down now oh, i have all the direction i need don't catch anything both ways good now there is no more resistance. The engine won't tilt and run my runner rudder on one side or the other when I'm under sail. Perfect. So I wasn't sure how that worked until I installed it, but it's quite simple and quite ingenious too. So this thing basically goes from one uh, bow mount to the end. Now it's locked and uh, you can go sail and when you're ready to motor you just align that on the steering. What a difference! So now I could actually enjoy uh, sailing without having to hang on to the steering all the time because the weight of the engine kept bringing my steering to the to port or to starboard and uh, depending which side the boat was healing. So it's much more pleasant that way. I also discovered that I could leave the engine disconnected and locked in a straight line and steer with the rudders at low speed. So when I'm ready to hoist the sail, I disconnect the engine, lock it in a straight line and steer the boat with the rudders into the wind and then hoist the sail. Then all I have to do is uh, basically raise the engine when, I'm, uh, when I bear away into the wind. And now I can steer the boat with two fingers or even let go of the helm to adjust the sheets or whatever. I also started solo sailing this year for the first time after having the boat for uh, three years and uh, it's so much easier with the engine disconnected.